Peterson decided to uh, have a, a change in his uh, ministry. So he said to me, uh, you, uh, I want your resignation. And I said, well, you can't have it unless you tell me why. He said, I don't have to tell you why. He said, I've checked with the governor and I don't have to give a reason. I said, well, you do to get a resignation, but you can sack me if you like. But if you, if you do, I advise you to watch that television over there because I'll go straight out and I will challenge you for the leadership of the party. And he said, well, you can do whatever you like. I said, the National Party will not be happy with this. He said, I am the National Party. So I did that. I went down and presumably on his TV <laughs> for all to see, I announced uh, that I would uh, challenge him for leadership of the party. He didn't even get near to the numbers to avoid it happening. Tributes are flowing after the death of the former Queensland Premier who steered the reinforcement of integrity within politics in the Sunshine State. Mike Arhen has died aged 81 with politicians paying tribute to the former premier. Mike became premier of Queensland at undoubtedly one of the most turbulent and difficult times in the state's political history. In a personality-driven atmosphere, Mike shifted the focus back to where it should be on policy and the people of Queensland. The long-serving member of the Joe Bujeke Peterson government, who served as state leader from December 1987 to September 1989, will be offered a state funeral for his service, current Queensland Premier Anastasia confirmed. Mr. Ahen was well known for his promise to implement the findings of the Fitzgerald inquiry, which made landmark findings into police and political corruption under the J.K. Peterson government in the 1980s. It led to four ministers being jailed and former Premier Sir John being charged with perjury. Mr. Arhen was elected as Sajo's successor amid the fallout from the bruising anti-corruption inquiry. He famously promised to implement Commissioner Tony Fitzgerald's finding Rockstock and Ballo. His family remembered uh, the man they called husband, father and grandfather after the former premier lost his brave battle with cancer on Friday. May he so rest in peace and thank you so much for watching.